Right now, there are seven pending murder cases in Nelson County, according to the Commonwealth's attorney. You've probably heard of a few of them. Crystal Rogers, Tommy Ballard, Jason Ellis, Kathy and Samantha Netherland. But tonight, we're talking about one of the others. His name is Blake Martin. He was shot and killed in November of 2020. A witness says she was there when it happened, and a man has been charged with his murder. But weeks after the shooting, that suspect was released on bail, and he's been out ever since leaving some to wonder, where is the justice in Nelson County? For Aaron Seward, Blake Martin is easy to describe. The best dad. She remembers this the most about the father of her children. He was the best dad. I, I couldn't even describe. Um, he was always there for his kids. Tell me, honey, what do you say? Blake Martin shared one daughter with Aaron and treated Aaron's other daughter just like his own even after the romantic relationship had ended. We had a good relationship. Anytime I needed anything, I knew that he was there. She says that's why he pulled into her driveway on November 25th, 2020. He saw John Wimsett was at her house. John was Aaron's ex-boyfriend. She says she and John were in the living room when they saw Blake park on the side of her house. She went to the side door and let him in. As soon as Blake started down the hallway, he gets to the threshold doesn't make it through, not one single word is exchanged, no scuffle, no physical altercation, not one thing. As soon as Blake came in vision right here and he started to turn, John dropped on him. Aaron describes hearing a gunshot and then watching Blake fall to the floor. John still had his gun drawn, pointed right at me, and I looked down the barrel. Aaron says John ran out of the house and she called 911. She remembers wanting to find help. She also remembers she didn't want Blake to be alone. If Blake dies, I didn't want him to, to die by himself. So I ran back and I just held him. I just held him. And my neighbor finally came around and um, he, was, he was the one that had to tell me that he wasn't breathing. Blake died outside Aaron's house, and soon after, John was arrested and charged with his murder. When the officers showed up here, I just kept repeating his address and where they needed to go. John was booked into jail, and that's where he stayed for a little more than a month until a judge lowered his bond. His family posted it, and the accused killer was free to go. We don't ever want anybody accused of murder to be out on bond. Commonwealth's attorney Terry Gohagen says his office was opposed to the bond reduction, but there wasn't anything else they could do. In the 14 months since then, he says they've been building their case, preparing for trial. Said in every murder case, we it's on the front burner. We apply everything we have to it. And on this case, if you see the file, it is uh, probably 10 inches thick. That trial continues to be postponed. And he doesn't deserve this time to be out. He needs to be in prison. That's where he belongs. Gohagen says his office is waiting for test results from the KSP crime lab before taking the case to court. He says it's not unusual for trials to be postponed, but he understands why. In Nelson County, there's a question about justice and why it's so hard to get. In Nelson County, there are uh, some high profile cases. I think everybody's working on those as hard as they can. And uh, we just all try to cooperate with the law enforcement. There are a lot of law enforcement agencies working on all the cases here. And we feel very confident that uh, in every case we have, including this case, that we'll have a successful conclusion. For Aaron, a successful conclusion would be a conviction. This is black and white. This man is a monster. A conviction she hopes comes sooner rather than later. Because I want my kids to see that there is justice. That booster don't win in the fly. And this case is scheduled to go to trial in September. We did reach out to John Wimsett's attorney. He did not respond to our request for a comment.